Welcome to 11th Moon 2. Stick around after the video to see how you can enter into the 11th Moon Holiday Giveaway. Sorry, sorry, wrong <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I like your remix. <laughs> oh, by the way, in case anyone's wondering, I'm totally have. Uh, it's not. It's not candy. It's it's a haul smell off. <laughs> I wanted a haul. How do I kill these things again? Um. The bombs, really? No, no, it's not bombs. I don't think. Uh, I, I don't know, man. It's a, just keep... Mm. <laughs> run! <laughs> just run! <laughs> bombs kill it, son of an Are ass. Are you serious? Are you serious? Why would bombs work on a whiz robe? I'm serious, clerk. There's gotta be an easier way to kill him. Probably arrows. <laughs> oh! I, or, I, uh, or I might be able to pick him up since that's the dungeon I'm in. Yeah, I gotcha. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a meh I'll go buy the arrows once I hit 980 rupees, which I could get in this, possibly if there's a couple 200s. Yeah, I, I, so all I know is, is that, that uh, like, the bow and arrow did it. I know. Oh, Shy Guys! Yay, Shy Guys! I love this because you just. You shy Guys are the best. It takes no effort to kill them. Well, I use the. Sh I like shy guys overall, like as character, as like uh, enemies, and uh, in both Mario and I've seen this game too. But I, I just like I just I like them. Oh, those are weird. Okay, time out. When you go back to the left here, do you not find those like horse heads weird? No. I never liked them in this game. They, they, I hated I, how it was random if you got it. Like it didn't matter if you were, you know, it, it just was completely random if you freaking got it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, the whiz robe thing that I say, I didn't you as when you don't you get the magic wand or and kill, and kill him with that or the bow and like anything ranged. Probably. But like like that was the whole thing with them is that like you you can't hit him with the sword but you can do something like you hit him with all ranged stuff. Oh look at you being smart. <laughs> this um, isn't my first radio. This isn't your first Mario. 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 You, should you don't want to get the flying heart thing? No. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Who wants this thing? No one wants this thing. <laughs> go home. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants you. Go on home. Nobody wants you. Jelly's attack. Nobody wants... Nobody wants a jelly. Nobody, Nobody wants a jelly. Oh wait, oh, no, don't pick all the pots. Throw one in the door. Rah! <laughs> uh, not my first rodeo either, huh? Yeah, you. The fucking flying heart. <sighs> you are such a little <sighs> Brian. I'm telling you, man, you kill me with this. You're like Tony with the in, in, uh, in Super I'm, Mario 64. Every I'm, time like, you... I'm like a Tony. You like a the Tony. I I want to play Super Mario 64 as well. Uh, I, I told you next time we play that what the rule is. We drink. <laughs> <laughs> it, what, you know, you know. Honestly, that wasn't the plan, but it is now. Now it is. It it, it really is. Did Did you hear about the uh, potential HD remake of that for real? No, they've got a, they've got a multiplayer. 3DS, not 3DS, DS remake of it. Yeah, and that's what I hear is that they're going to be making a, a, a for like the Wii U, a, 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 what the, oh. That'd be really cool. Yeah, it, it's a, it'd be a multiplayer, on, uh, like you could actually have multiple people playing at one time on the Wii U in an HD remake. Oh, I, heard, I, I don't know. <laughs> I saw it and I was talking and I was thinking, because I actually, I think I did hear that. Where, like, one person can play on the one screen and the other person can play on the actual TV. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I have no idea how, how that would go. Did you see Did you see what I was... Uh, that I see, did you see what I sent you not too long ago about how... I didn't know this. I just found it out. That you can play um, um, Wind Waker with the Pro Controller. 
Yes, dude, I'm, that makes me so happy because I I have two pro controllers that I've had since last Christmas that I haven't used <laughs> once. Well, I'm hoping hopefully we get to use them a lot more for uh, Smash when that comes out. Okay, that's that's perfect. But that's yeah, that that'd be that'd be cool to use it for that. But then again, I was sitting there going, I'm like, of all games, like Wind Waker or a Zelda game might be the game you'd want to use the gamepad for. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah like, well, just as <sighs> your inventory. Yeah. I heard that they did that with the uh, with Batman. Um, like with the uh, uh, the ba the Batman games is like that. That's how he reaches gadgets and stuff. You know, you have that flying hearts back again, right? You get I that. Do. Yeah, what up? I get my flying hearts. Yeah, what up? Flying hearts! Yeah, I, I, I'm just... I don't know. Like, the, the whole the whole gamepad thing concerns me because... Um, and it, the, when I'm playing on... Uh, what is that? God dang it. Oh, Super Mario... Just su Super Mario... Uh, um, uh, Wii U there. Super Mario U or whatever it is. Yeah. Have you not noticed the delay? If you play a single-player game, the single-player version on your gamepad, not from the uh, controller, there's a, there seems to be a delay. Oh, really? I'm not even kidding you. But if you watch the main screen, instead of like looking down, there's a delay, as, like, as far as I can tell. Hmm. But anyway, that's just something I noticed. But, um, but yeah, I am looking forward to Smash Brothers, especially considering that they're obviously still le leaking slowly, saying, oh, you know, this person's going to be there, this person's going to be there. I'm still waiting for, you know, a certain few. Mega Man was a huge one that I, you know, I thought was going to be there from day one that just never showed up. Yeah. But, you know, that, that that's beautiful. Am I missing something? Mm -hmm. I've, got a, I've got the key, I just don't know where to put the key. Oh, um... Uh, I, can't, I can't get out of here now. <laughs> <laughs> you trapped? In the closet. I'm trapped in the closet. Can you can you not shoot through that? with Like, through the gap there? Oh, you can do it with an arrow. I could do it with an arrow, couldn't I? I, oh, had, I had arrows last time because... Eat that. <laughs> There we go. I had arrows last time, but I stole them. I always stole them because I was like, I'm not waiting. I don't care if they call me thief. But now I've got this stupid thing called pride, and I actually wanted to say. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. With, um... Uh, this you, is out of principle. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> now, when, when you had, um... By the way, who, who's who? Oh, that reminds me. Uh, it's a principle thing. I gotta come back to that. Don't let me forget, but... Um, okay. <laughs> we, no, 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 this is important. When, we were, when, when you had the opportunity to, to walk with that chick for a while, um, you know, in, in this game. Yeah. Uh, it's a, there's a point where in the game, if you actually take her to that store, the uh, the, the, the claw game, it actually, they'll, uh, she'll have an interaction and she'll pick up the shop, the shopkeeper. Oh, really? Yeah, I just found out about that. I thought that was kind of a neat little thing here. It was I, I think it was on a Did You Know Gaming or something like that. I love this part right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like, no, nah, I'm not going to even. The ultimate corner defense. Yeah. By the way, this is the longest lasting halls in history. I'm still on that same freaking thing. <laughs> I'm trying. I feel bad because I'm trying to talk and it sounds like I'm, you know, like, blah, 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 you know. Well, you are blah, 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 blah. That seems uh, awfully inaccurate. But no, the the the, the uh, thing I was going to talk to you about with the principal thing. Did you hear about what happened in The Simpsons? No, what happened? Uh, uh, this is actually true. It's very sad. Um, the lady, the person who did the voice of um, Anna Krabappel, uh, died in real did life. Did the voice of who? Anna Krabappel. I don't know the, who that is. The Bart's teacher. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, she she died from uh, she she had breast cancer. Well, Jeez. I can't beat this one because I don't think I can pick that ball up. Sure you can. Oh, yeah, I can. Take that, bitch. <laughs> you don't need... Rah! He looks like a Pokemon. What, 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 I don't remember which one. Derpemon. Derpemon! Got a Derpemon! She win me! I'm derping your destiny! Derpemon! You're my derp friend! In a derp must defend! Derp and moan! 
<laughs> Did I ever tell you that I uh, about about my Halloween experience? No. Did that room just loop? Yeah, this it loops. Oh my god, I thought I was drunk. No, you are drunk. Oh, good. Well, that explains a lot. But no, um, uh, my Halloween experience, I, I actually ended up going as Ash Ketchum. And that was pretty cool. And, uh, and the, the girl I went with here, uh, she went dressed as, uh, a Butterfree. Yeah, I know. I figured that would happen. Well, I love Butterfree. Butterfree yeah, we know you love Butterfree. Oh, don't you Butterfree. Butterfree. Hey, Butterfree's a sweet Pokemon. You're dirt. Besides... If, 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 any, if, if anyone who grew up watching the show says that they didn't cry uh, during the episode Bye Bye Butterfree, they are a fucking liar. Yep, I didn't watch it as a kid, did not cry this time around. But then again, I like, nothing against you, I just I just don't really have a an affection for Butterfree. It does, you don't need one. It's like, you you just know that this dude's losing his his bro, and, and he's like, Buddy, uh, goodbye, goodbye. It's, it's the saddest shit ever. You're the saddest shit ever. Hmm. <laughs> I, can you like bomb something, you know, like to the right? Try bombing. Like, they, they give you bombs, so it's gotta be like, there's gotta be, just throw bombs. We got like a hundred of them. Just start, yeah, just start lacing this place. No? Nothing? Nice. In the 11th Moon Holiday giveaway question today is, what is the easiest final boss you have ever fought in any game? I mean, at this point, I mean, I'm take, I'll take anything, man. I don't know. I, I just, I'm just kind of at a loss for what to do here. But how about this? Why don't we say that next time when we come back, we'll figure it all out and we'll be in the new area. New area, a figured in mount. Derp ammo. Hey everyone, this is Craig here with 11th Moon, and I'm here to give you some exciting news. 11th Moon wants to give away free stuff to our fans, so this holiday season will be the first 11th Moon holiday giveaway. What does that mean for you? That means you get the chance to win some free stuff for just being a fan of 11th Moon, and your loyalty is going to decide what you get. How this is going to work is you're going to watch 11th Moon 2 videos that start with me telling you to stick around to the end of the video. Somewhere in the middle of that video, we're going to have a question. You're going to comment on the video with an answer to that question, and if we deem it appropriate, you're going to be entered into the drawing. Every time you answer a question on a new video, you're going to be entered again into the drawing. But note, there's only one entry per person per video. At the end of the promotion, we're going to draw a name out of a hat, and that person's going to be the winner of the prize. Now what's that prize going to be? We don't even know yet, because that's going to be up to you. The Annie's going to up what the prize is based on your loyalty. On the specially marked videos of 11th Moon 2, every minute watch is going to add to that pot. Every new follower on Facebook is going to add to that pot. Every new like on the video itself will add to the pot. Every new follower on Twitter will add to the pot. Every retweet of an 11th Moon tweet will add to the pot. The size of this prize is gonna be up to you. So go ahead, find all the videos that have me telling you to stick around to the end, watch the whole thing to add to that minute total, respond in the comments with your answers to the question, and win some free stuff. But hurry up, the holiday season's coming up quick on us, and we want you to win a big prize.